Hello and welcome back beautiful Scorpio. Thanks for coming by today guys. Thank you so much for your views and your comments, your likes, your subscriptions. Each and every one of you I truly appreciate. Now let's hope that the energies are good for Scorpio. It's been uh, a change for sure. So let's hope for Scorpio for the best here. Things are changing with our planetary uh, alignments here, guys. So I know you've been on a tough cycle. Let's hope it is changing for Scorpio as well. What is the advice for Scorpio? What about Scorpio? What is it that Scorpio may need to know? Things that will be of benefit. Venusian Galactic Council, star being guides, answer the call. It's time to shine. It's almost like Venusian Galactic Council is taking place. This is your star being guides. Answer the call. It's time for Scorpio to shine. Scorpio, please. The Seraphim's Gateway, Voice Activation, Angelic Attunement, and Divine Support is all around you. Seraphims are the highest ranking angels that there are. They protect uh, the kingdom. They do not allow any negative, low vibrational energies around. Solar light upgrade, solar plexus chakra, inner fire and your willpower. You're being, okay, ancestral realm, karmic release, healing the lineage, setting boundaries. So you have uh, connected to the ancestral realm here. Karmic release. You could have been in a karmic situation. It's your time to shine. Chamber of the Violet Flame. Karmic release. Radical transformation. Sacred inner space. Chakra, sacral chakra tenderness and sensuality well that is definitely Scorpio so it's almost like something is being activated in you you Palladian activation coming together harmony in the heavens a resolution is here what's going on star gathering stars are all aligned remembering home your soul family Star blessings, yes, proceed, be seen, and push through. I don't know what you're going through, but it's something big. It's two cards of karmic release. You're being called to shine. It is your time to shine. You're totally connected here. I don't know. Whatever you've been through is gone. It's a something new transforming. You are no different than the other zodiac signs here, Scorpio. It's something to do with this year and the planetary alignments. All those past cycles are being closed off and new doors are being opened. And you're connected in a major way. So let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. It's your time to shine. You're being totally, totally protected here. What's going on, Scorpio? Yeah. Jesus. That's why you were on the decrease. It's like, I don't know, you could be traveling. 
working on a creative endeavor and spirit is telling you it is your time to shine your first love is you you could be a professional or you're working with a professional on a creative work endeavor you could be traveling whatever this was it was pulling you down you were on the decrease and now it's like you're shining spirit is saying you're playing it safe it is your time to shine there is a new beginning here new supportive connections and people entering your life it is likely your soul family use your intuition and manifest because i'm telling you if you're paying it playing it safe spirit is telling you it is your time to shine go for it push through this is big you're very deserving of this whatever it is Scorpio go for it that's what it's telling you go for it push through Whatever this is, you could be trying to play it safe here. Spirit is saying, go, do it, go for it. It's your time to shine. It's being at a crossroads, but you're going, I don't know, see? You're dealing with a bunch of... Uh, jealousy or envy or conflict or feeling defeated you're gonna have a victory i don't know that was keeping you stuck i don't know it could have been deception envy jealousy There will be justice. Look at judgment and justice. This is karmic justice. A soulmate connection or a partnership in either business or romance. S someone was just really weighing you down or conflict and competition and fighting and arguing, it's been a tower. So, oh, with a huge ass betrayal, no wonder karmic justice is being released. Somebody could have been juggling. Didn't see what they had when they had it. And I'm seeing you getting a lot of attention, happiness, and a victory here. What the hell? Hmm. Fear, mental imprisonment, trapped by a karmic. This was a bloody karmic cycle. Your partner may have chosen a karmic cycle. Karma is being released. 
I don't know if there's a karmic child involved here. Ah, their worst nightmare. Foolish. Feeling like a fool. Self-sabotage. Now here is messages or you're moving forward. You're divinely protected and it looks as though, I don't know, balance is being restored somehow. I think you blocked communication or something. And here comes an offer, an apology, a love offering to work on things. This could be a creative project that you're working on with someone or a relationship. It's either in romance or business or both. It's a creative endeavor. Or it is an apology, a love offering to work on things. You've set up boundaries. You're single. And I do not think this is an offer of an apology. A love offer and an apology. And I think you're angry. Or they are. This is... A commitment this is a blessing this is a new opportunity a business opportunity or a financial opportunity it also could be a love opportunity the health the zamper angry you could be angry at this emperor or this emperor is angry because you're happy getting blessed and you've got money rolling in and you've got maybe a new partnership coming in what is this yeah you trusted your intuition there's some sneaky bullshit going on here and that's why things, there's a separation. And this is toil and labor. This is collecting a harvest of some type. You reap what you sow is here for breaking your heart. That's the truth, Spirit saying. You've got a new beginning. You've got pentacles or opportunities that are coming in. New supportive connections. You're manifesting happiness and money. You're getting a lot of attention. And I do see a contract coming in for you. Equal reciprocity. It is new love. Hmm. I guess this person just refused to see what they had when they had it. I don't know if they took advantage of your kindness and mistook your kindness for weakness here. This is an empathic type of love here. And when you're an empath, you automatically attract the dark. It's like a moth to the flame. So maybe you were overgiving. You know what I mean? I think you took your power back. What's this? Working. What is this? A new business? A new contract? And buying a new home? You're moving on. What is this? Offer? Ooh. 
someone sees your value. I think you see your own value here, but there's an offer coming in, a stable offer. It's good news, obviously, with finance, but there is someone slow moving coming in to give you some good news. You have manifested this. Hmm. It's communication. It's a gift. I don't think this person gave you what you gave them. I think that they're just a cold bastard, to be real. They offered little, maybe you walked away, and now they want to return. This is a commitment. This is a lesson learned. There could be a reunion here or a celebration. The Empress has their choice in lovers here. <laughs> you do. An empress can be a masculine as well, just in their feminine energy of, of loving, of nurturing, of being abundant. Like, I'm telling you, you could be working with a professional, okay? You're celebrating. This is the lover's. There could be marriage in your future or a commitment, a higher level of commitment. Oh boy. How things change. The Wheel of Fortune spinning. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> Success. A, a faded. The fates are turning in your favor. Destiny is, you're highly favored at this time. It is your time to shine. And I'm telling you, you're shining. God. Uh, oh, karma is released, man. Oh. Ooh, this person is hurt now because why? You've got a choice of a king of pentacles and a king of wands. And they're missing you. You've got many choices here. You are getting a lot of selection here. You're being watched. Hmm. Someone wants to come riding in for what? Ten Pentacles, a commitment. There's marriage in your future. There's a solid financial future for you and indeed a close relationship. I don't know if this is wish fulfillment. You're attracting it. Travel might be in order. Long distance travel. Ten of Cups. You stood your ground. You said what you meant. You meant what you said. Scorpio. Scorpio, happy, shining. It's your time to shine. The cards are very clear. You're very deserving of this. Oh, yes. You've got peace. Someone's got, oh, I'm telling you, someone's getting married. 
There is a loving man who has hidden motives here. The hidden motives are marriage. After the deception that you have been through, okay, someone is very grateful to have you. This person kept going back and forth, fragmenting your energy until the Ascendant Masters and the Angels stepped in. And now you've got hit a huge milestone in your life. This person had dark thoughts, negative thinking, and that's why the universe is blessing you with this increase in abundance, increased in love, choices to choose from. It's like you could be a teacher, this might be the professional career that you have, or you have been the teacher all along. You've learned to honor yourself. You're very optimistic, and you've done a transformation. And it's like somebody wants to keep you from letting go. You're this loving person, getting a loving man, a great milestone. Somebody's getting hitched here. They have hidden motives, but the hidden motives, the intentions, are the big house, the white picket fence, the kids or the grandkids playing in the yard. They're in love with you. A loving man and a loving woman. The motive is marriage. What a transformation. Friends, colleagues, family, friends, and guides. The sacred temple is in your future. And so is family. And so is the honored path, marriage. Because you stood in your power. Look at you. And now this person is stuck in fear, in lack. That's karmic release. Spirit's not joking. When you do dirty, it comes back to you. And the good you do comes back. You're getting married. Someone is going to, there is a gathering of friends, family, and guides, and loved ones. Everybody's having fun here. It's the sacred temple. Marriage. The loving man. The loving woman. And a huge milestone achieved. It's looking like with love and finance here. Aww. And this person has good intentions, man. The best kind. The temple, the honored path. What's well, this? The hidden motive is the big house, the kids, the dream. Huge milestones. <laughs> Spirit saying you're very deserving of this. And oh yeah, you're going to be living the high life here. And you're going to have peace. That's what it's telling me, Scorpio. Masculines or feminines, how good can it get? A loving man, a loving woman, a good union, a healthy union, and a bunch of money coming in. Take care.